အဲ့ဒီမှာတို့ကိုဒီနေ့မှာနောက်ကုပတ်တော်ဝင်ကပြီးမဲ့သူကတော့အာပရော်ဖက်ချာလီရှန်ဖြစ်ပါတယ်သ
Whenever we pray, we are sending out the word of God. When we pray in our heavenly language, we are releasing mysteries into the realm of the Spirit. And every demonic adversary is being melted by the presence of the Lord. Everything that's standing in your way from breaking through into the next dimension is melted when we begin to pray. God needs a vessel in the earth to release his word through. And he chose you for this time in history. One of the most uh, volatile, darkest times in history, God has chosen you to be here to release his word. You are not here by accident. You are here by God's divine design. And when we release the word of God, the wind of the spirit begins to blow. And the waters of the supernatural begin to flow. And I'm telling you as a prophet of God, the wind of the Spirit is going to blow in 22, and the waters of the Holy Spirit and revival are going to flow. And because we are born of the Spirit, we are also born of that wind. uh, Isaiah 60 verse 8 says, Who are these who fly like clouds, like doves to their windows? Um, okay. uh, so you've been called to be one that walks in the realm of the spirit. You've been called to be a glory carrier. You've been called to fly above the circumstances. You've been called to live in an open heaven. And so God has called you to live in this place of the presence of God. So it doesn't matter what is happening in our nations, we are called to live above that place. No matter how dark it is and no matter how traumatic or chaotic it may be, God has called us to live above those things. And 
So his win comes when we pray to lift us above those things. We know that in Myanmar there has been some difficult times even this last year. In my own country, there has been some difficult things that have happened. But we are not moved by the things which we see. We are moved by the things which are unseen. Because I, because I tell you as a prophet that everything that is seen right now is temporary. Everything that we see right now can change in a moment through the power of prayer. And John chapter 3, verse 8. The word of God says that those that are born of the Spirit are like the wind. As the wind blows in the natural, people don't know where it comes and where it goes. So is everyone born of the Spirit. And just as the natural wind blows, and nobody knows where it comes and goes, the spiritual wind of your life will cause you to blow and the enemy will not be able to find you. I decree and declare over your life that the enemy will not be able to find you in the wind of God. God's wind is a supernatural mystery. It is a mystery to your enemy. It is a mystery to him because he cannot figure out where it, where you're coming and where you're going. Because the wind lifts you from the first and second heaven into the heavenlies, the third dimension of the glory of God. The word of God declares that we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. And so we live in an atmosphere where the enemy can't touch us. So when we pray, we're not praying from heaven, from earth into heaven. We're praying from heaven into the earth. And as we begin to pray, I want you to hear me very clearly this morning. As we pray in the Spirit, we cause disturbances to take place in the second heaven. Just as a wind begins to blow and bring turbulence to an airplane. 
So are our prayers turbulence to the enemy's war machine against our life? And I tell you by the Spirit of God that those crafts are going to fall in this hour. Absolutely no weapon that has been formed against your life is going to prosper. Absolutely no power that is flying in the second heavens is going to prosper over your life. I see disturbances in the realm of the spirit. I see the spirit of God bringing his wind upon the enemy. And breaking every form of power that he has. Now recently I was praying in the realm of the spirit. And I saw, uh, in particular, two angels, classes of angels that were being released in heaven to the earth in this season. These two angels were bringing the presence of God and shredding out darkness. When I saw these first class of angels, their wings were like razors and like uh, swords. And and I saw them as they came, they were uh, shredding darkness. They were breaking up darkness over nations. And I asked the Lord, I said, what are these angels? What are their names? He said, these are my fanner angels. Uh, sorry, where is that? Fanner. It's like a fan, like, um, oh gosh, how do I explain this? It's, is it, um, it's like fan? Yes, yes, okay. like a fan, but they, right. but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. Um, it's like, um, okay. And these angels have razors and they, their wings are made like, um, like swords. And they bring a destroying wind against the enemy's camp. They bring a destructive wind and a wind of judgment. And now I tell you by the Spirit of the Lord. That there are some injustices that have happened in your nation that God is going to deal with in this season. And I saw 
the, these angels coming and bringing a destructive wind against the things of darkness. Where there has been injustice done in your nation, these angels are being released. They are being released to bring the light of God back into your nation. So Matt, no matter what it may feel like in the natural right now, I am telling you that this year, God is opening a door and he's releasing those angels. And they are going to shred demonic uh, assignments against the nation. Uh, even demonic documents that are trying to hold people captive in the country, the Lord says, I'm going to shred those things. I saw this destructive wind in the realm of the spirit coming against the enemy. And I heard the spirit of the Lord say that I'm bringing judgment against the enemy's camp. And the people will walk in freedom. Man, I feel the presence of the Lord right now. You should just lift up your hands right in your house or where you're at and just begin to thank God for what he's doing. Because nothing can stop the move of the Holy Spirit in Mendemar. God is going to get his glory out of this nation. Your prayers are not in vain, but they are powerful and mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I decree and declare freedom in your life in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and declare an open heaven over your life. I saw these angels ripping open the heavens over your nation. And as I saw that, I saw uh, the dove of the Spirit come. And I saw the dove of the Spirit be, was released and began to come down in your nation. I want to read this verse out of Isaiah 60, verse 8 again. And I want you to translate it while I say it, okay? Isaiah 60, verse 8 says, Who are these that fly as a cloud? And as the doves to an to their windows or to their open heaven. 
The Lord spoke to me and said that this is in particular is a verse for Mandamar. That the people of God are going to be like those that fly like the cloud of the Spirit. They're going to be like those that are the dove of the Holy Spirit. And that this and that the nation is going to see an open heaven. That in this decade, God is going to release the peace of his presence over the country. And all of the turmoil that you're facing right now will seem like a distant memory. Then I saw the dove of the Spirit come and it landed in your nation. And I said, Lord, what are you doing? He said, as my people begin to pray, they are creating a cloud of my presence over their nation. And I am going to release my dove of peace upon the country. Where there has been chaos, where there has been turmoil, where there has been destruction, and and even rioting, the Lord says, "I'm bringing my peace." And every peace that the enemy has tried to remove is going to be placed back. The word peace is the word shalom. It means nothing broken and nothing missing. Everything that has been broken everything that has been stolen, everything that is missing that the enemy has taken from Mendamar is going to be restored. And I saw peace in the nation. And people said, how can this be? And the Lord said, this is because my people have prayed and released my presence. Now, there was these angels that I saw. They were, had, the, had, the, um, had the wings that were like razors. They're bringing a power that is going to combat the spirit of darkness over the nation. It will be in direct relation to the prayers that we release in this hour. Then I saw these other angels. And 
They were very, very tiny, very small. And the Lord spoke to me and he, I said, what are those? He said, they're nanotech angels, nanotech. And these angels are able to go um, into places that um, uh, people have tried to conceal and keep secret. These angels are going to bring exposure to things that have been hidden. Things that have been concealed that, that uh, governments don't want anyone to know about. God is going to cause these angels to go in and retrieve information and they will bring it out to the public. Everything that is hidden is going to be revealed in this hour. Not one thing that is that is concealed is go, is going to remain that way. God is going to open up things for everyone to see. These angels are going to go in and they're going to begin to release those hidden things. This is in a direct relation to our prayers. And I heard the Lord say, Look at February the 2nd, 2022, to February the 22nd, 2022. February February la February la February la February la February la February la February period. And the Lord spoke to me and said that as the people of God begin to pray, that Daniel 2.22 is going to be released during that time. It's really important what we are praying right now and what we're going to be praying even in the coming months. Especially the period of time, February the 2nd through the 22nd, God is going to begin to use the, the people of God to do something in the realm of the Spirit that will affect even the future of this decade. Daniel 2.22 says, He reveals the deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, and the light dwells with him. So the deep and secret things God is going to reveal. He knows what is hidden in the darkness. It cannot hide. It cannot hide from the hand and the eyes of God. 
All the things that are in the deep and secret places, God is going to expose. He already knows what is hidden in the darkness, but he is going to reveal it to us. Because he dwells with light, so we dwell with light. And God is releasing the spirit of truth. No lie will stand in this hour. The spirit of truth is being released. The book of Revelation speaks of a of the spirit of truth. He describes it like the white horse. Like a white horse. The Lord is releasing the spirit of truth in this hour. It is the bride of Christ without spot or wrinkle. And the, the presence of Christ is able to ride on the spirit of truth. It's why it's critically important what we are doing in prayer and fasting over these next several months. Because it's going to directly affect the future in this decade. The Bible says that the enemy comes in like a flood, but the Lord raises up a standard. The Lord is raising up a standard right now. He's raising up a standard through our life. Remember, I told you that God sends out his word and he uses us to send it out. The word of God says that Christ rides on the praises of his people. That's why your that's why your praise is important during prayer. It doesn't matter what it looks like in the natural, it doesn't matter what you feel, you have to take off the garment of heaviness and put on the garment of praise. Because it's going to cause you to break through in this hour. And the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me just like Daniel when he was in Babylon during that 21-day period it seemed like there was no answer, like there was darkness. Because 
And the spirit of the Lord spoke to me and he said, it may feel very dark during that period, but you're breaking through in the realm of the spirit. Don't allow the spirit of heaviness to come on you because the Lord doesn't ride on heaviness. He rides on the praises of his people. The Lord told me to tell you to see things uh, in, in the realm of the spirit, not the way that you see them now. Begin to, pro- begin to prophesy the things that are unseen, not combat the things which are, are seen. Because you're going to dwell in the light, and I and light naturally dominates darkness. So from February the 2nd through the 22nd of February is 21 days. And I saw a contention in the realm of the spirit. Where the enemy was bringing an onslaught against the, bo- the body of Christ. But the Lord said for us to be like Daniel and to only bow our knee to the living Lord. And as we do that, darkness is going to be exposed. God is going to release his light. And we will have victory. Now I'm going to give you four things that the Lord told me that this heavenly wind that he's releasing is going to bring. This is four things that this heavenly wind is going to do. Number one, God is bringing angelic reinforcement to your life. Where you felt like you were alone, the Lord is going to bring reinforcements to you. The The angelic armies of heaven are being released and dispatched on your behalf. Number two. God is bringing a relocation God is relocating you in the spirit. God is breaking the cycles of your life. He's lifting you out of those cycles and those situations. And he's relocating you in the spirit. You're going to live above and not beneath. You're going to understand what it means to be the head and not the tail. You're going to understand what it means to live in full 
freedom. The cycles of your mind are being broken. Your thought patterns are going to change. The way that you see yourself is going to change. Because God is relocating you in the spirit. Some of you are in the natural are going to be relocated. God's going to take you from the place that you are right now, and he's going to move you to another place. He's going to take you from where you are, and he's going to reposition you for the move of God that is coming. Number three. Rejuvenation. God is going to rejuvenate your spirit man. Some of you have been feeling weary, but the Lord is going to rejuvenate your spirit. There's a rejuvenation in your spirit, man. Lord, I thank you for rejuvenating them right now in the spirit. Where their soul has been downcast, Lord, I thank you for releasing your power upon it now in Jesus' mighty name. Where their spirit has felt broken, God, I thank you for your rejuvenation being placed in their presence. Number four is restoration. God is restoring everything that has been stolen and taken from your life. And I feel in particular for the nation of Mandamar that God is bringing restoration. He is restoring peace because he's the Prince of Peace. And this wind is bringing transformation. It's breaking every form of barrenness and bringing into your life fruitfulness. Even over the nation of Mandamar, I see transformation breaking forth. And where you've been in a season of barrenness, the Lord is bringing fruitfulness. God is bringing fruitfulness in your life. God is bringing fruitfulness over the nation. Every spirit of barrenness is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. God is breaking the reproach, and he is bringing rejoicing. I tell you by the Spirit of God that by the end of this year, you will be rejoicing in what God has done. 
You will be rejoicing in what God has transformed. Oh man, I feel the Spirit of God moving right now. Oh, I feel the presence of the Lord moving right now. That that spirit of gloom and despair. The spirit of doom and the spirit of despair over Mandamar is being broken because God is bringing his glory in this nation. I decree and declare that every soiled place in the nation, God is bringing a cleansing. Every dry place, God is bringing a refreshing. God is healing every wound in the nation. He is breaking every demonic and evil presence. And he is realigning every uh, thing that the enemy has tried to bring uh, out of joint and and try to um, uh, bring a brokenness into. I see where, there, where the enemy has tried to bring a fracture in the country. A fracture like where it's been broken, but the Lord is bringing it back into alignment. In the realm of the spirit, I saw the nation of Mendemar walking, walking. And the enemy came and brought, brought a fracture in, in, in the steps and the, in the legs of the country. But I see the Lord repairing the fracture and bringing realignment for the nation. And I hear the Spirit of the Lord say that the nation of Mandamar will walk in the cool of the day with the Lord again. It's going to walk into its destiny. It's going to walk forward in the things of God. The people of God are blessed. You are blessed. God is realigning you right now and he's fixing the fractures. I tell you, by the end of this decade, you will not even recognize Mendemar. It'll be changed. God is going to pour out his spirit. All, all, everyone that's listening to me, whether you're on Zoom or you're on Facebook, I want you to lift up your hands right now. Facebook, 
I want to pray for you. I want to release the presence of God on you. God, Lord, I thank you for enriching every person underneath the sound of my voice with your gifts. In your presence. Lord, Lord, I thank you for a supernatural quickening in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that right now you are increasing your anointing upon every one of their desires. Their desires that they've prayed for, Lord, I thank you that you're bringing answers for those things in this season in Jesus' name. You are inflaming their hearts with your presence, O God. You are bringing revelation power through the Holy Spirit into their life. You are bringing a purified fire into them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I thank you that right now, even as I'm speaking, the Spirit of God is blowing upon them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All the shame of their past is being blown away by the Spirit of the Lord. Every bit of disgrace, every bit of defeat is leaving their life now in Jesus' mighty name. The sword of fire cuts down every evil tree in their life. And God is releasing right now a refreshing into their spirit, man. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing with the angelic realm in their life. Lord, I thank you that every person underneath the sound of my voice is even receiving a refreshing and an impartation for prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for reinforcements, the relocation, the rejuvenation, the restoration that you're releasing right now in Jesus' mighty name. God, I thank you for your fire. Coming now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory for everything that you're doing and you are going to do. Lord, we thank you for these testimonies that are going to come forth. We thank you for every prophetic word coming forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Not one single word will fall to the ground. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Well, I just want to thank Apostle Sarah for having me on. Uh, I know that this... <laughs> 
It's been such a, a privilege to be on with you guys. Uh, thank you so much, Prophet. We are very blessed to. Yes, I, I know that you're doing a very, very powerful work in that in that nation, and it is a tremendous blessing for me to be able to come and minister to the people of God. Yes. Amen. We Amen. I believe that sometime we'll be there actually yes. like we'll say hello to yes. each other so bless yes. you god yes. bless you pia kaungji bebazi alo mpia kaungji bebazi siya go lakkhou ti bi ro jesu den ya